I'm Yariel Angelil and I have a studio at 14 Cedar Street and these are my paintings and I, my paintings are very much inspired by two things, nature and trees and the ocean and my memories of my life living in Egypt. So this is an acrylic that I have made um, and these look like grasses and sort of trees. This is all nature. Then this is another piece over here that involves the idea of trees in an abstract way. Um, I use a lot of medium. I use a lot of acrylic. And uh, if one touches over here, it's bumpy. It's not flat. And this is another piece that's trees in the fall. Again, it's the same way. And in order to create those pieces, I use a spatula. There's another one here where, in, the, in addition to using the spatula, I use this nice sponge. And I created a flow on with the colors, one layer after another. And then I use this to create this effect. And again, if you touch it, it's bumpy and there are things sticking up. So this is an encaustic piece, encaustic meaning wax, and it's uh, painted with wax, and I will guide you through the process. In order to, um, to paint in wax, you need a, a hot plate like this, and all of these are different colors of wax, and then if they're too dark, I have wax medium, which is like a powder, and I add it in there. And um, when, when the wax is hot, I use this to hold it, otherwise I get burnt. And the brush usually is, um, has color on it, and then I put the paint on this pan. And at this point, I have an iron which is heated. I can heat it to low or medium or high. And those are wax sticks. I can put this on the iron if I want and the color will go on there. And I will iron the wax to make it penetrate. And then I, the next time I paint another layer of wax, I have to iron it again. So this one layer after another after another. And the finished product usually will look like this. Now in this part here, I spattered with my brush at the end, and here I scraped in with a sharp tool to create this line. One of the things I do is a monotypes using a jelly roll. I created this and made this jelly roll myself. You can see my hands through it. One side is smooth, one side is a little rough. It's about a quarter of an inch high. And I use this to print. So the first thing I do is I take my color, which is a block printing ink, water soluble so it can all come out of water and I squeeze some of it on my on my jelly roll and then I take this roller and I roll it so that I cover the the jelly roll. Now I have it um, a coat of black and what I like to do is use a lot of another color. So using a jelly roll and a, and a roller, I put my color on 
And this is a gold at a block painting ink, washable. And I'm going to put some on here. And I'm going to roll it on the plate. Doesn't matter which way. And now I've got some gold there. And uh, as you can see, the gold is covering most of it. And what I'm going to do now is I have some grasses that I collected. So I'm going to put the grasses on top. And then, and then this is a stencil made out of plastic of a dancer. So I'm going to put that on top. So now you can see the, the dancer and the grasses, and lately I've been using tracing paper. I like the way it comes out, and then I put it on, on white paper and I get a very interesting effect. So this is tracing paper, and I put that on there. So, so now I have the tracing paper right there, and I take my hand, and I go like this. And I give it off, and there I have a print. I like this uh, technique because it's very fast, so I can do a lot of them and then choose the ones that I like the most. So now, I still have some color on that jelly roll, so I'm going to take the stencil out. I'm going to take the grasses out, the other grass out. Okay, so now I have the indentation of all that there. Uh, I'm looking at it, and the stencil itself has some color on it. So I like that idea. And this particular print now is called the ghost because it's the second one. Usually you don't do two. So I'm going to put the, the stencil on there. I'm going to take my tracing paper, put it on there. You can see. And let's see what I can get. Then I use my hands. Now I can also use a roller like this if I wanted to get more pressure. And now I take it off. And you see this one is the first one. This one is the second one. Now obviously one is clearer than the other. Okay, now I can actually retouch all of that with some colored pencil. Or whatever. But I want to show you what it looks like if it's framed. This is how it's going to end up looking like. In other words, you need to have a, a white background for the tra because the tracing paper is so light. These are my abstracted figurative acrylics. And um, this is one of them, and it's the body of a woman sitting on a chair, and three men ogling at it, <laughs> at her, and dancers all around. Most of the work is done by using a palette knife as a base and then stencils. This one here involves two Arab women looking at each other. And as you can see that 
there, there are a lot of colors involved. Again, these colors come from the base, which is put in with a palette knife, and then the stencils over on top. Um, this is a, um, a horse. My grandfather used to uh, ride horses in Egypt, so I love to put horses in. And there's, the horse looks like it's going to jump any minute. And again here, I have a base coat, and then these are stencils that I put on top. This is painting oh, about dancers, and I use a lot of painting dancers in my paintings because I love to dance, and I've always danced. So there they are, and the base coat again is a palette knife, and then these are all stencils. And as you can see, some of them are fading in the background, some of them are coming out, this is fading, some of them are very bright. And it's got movement, that's what dancing is all about. Thank you for joining me in my studio at 14 Cedar Street. I hope you liked my paintings and I hope you will see them on my website muriel angelil.com